Hi guys, welcome back to Down Under Thailand. Here's a bit of footage that I shot early last year. I had just bought a drone, which is a great deal of fun. And I hadn't flown it here in Australia. And so I took it with me into Thailand, which is now where it lives. And these are the first real flights that I actually managed to... Um, to record something for you with so a, a bit of a drone newbie <laughs> by no means are you going to catch me sort of try to pilot my drone around fast moving vehicles or chasing people down a mountain slope on a, a mountain bike <laughs> that's not me but uh, here's a really good perspective of the farm you see me close up you see the projects and things I'm doing with me in frame but you don't actually get the opportunity to really soak up the environment, the expanse, uh, and the, the greater picture beyond what you can see in the actual video clips. And Thailand is such a beautiful place, and it was my first opportunity to really see the farm property from above and look at it from a totally different angle. And it's really beautiful. So here we're going up in the air, and uh, you can see going off into the distance, you know, the lush green pastures. This was during um, rice season, so the crops were coming up everywhere, so everything was pretty green. You can see there's the long brown streaks, they're the walkways on the farm. And I, at that time, had just fitting, finished cutting a lot of those. Uh, we're panning around there, you can see where the lemon trees are over on that border of the farm. Done a lot of um, slashing and cutting there, pretty hard going. But um, you can see it's quite brown. Now, it gets brown after you cut it, within a day or so, it's amazing. It doesn't stay green for very long once you've cut it. That area on the left later on, you can see that we did fill that. We got rid of the dead lemon trees there. We had a number of truckloads of soil brought in from other farms that uh, weren't using it. This is a month or so or two later. We had already done that on the, the road down the centre of those lemon trees. And Mem had got some flowers in there and growing to a reasonable size. You will have seen that in other videos. Here... We had, from memory, about 40 truckloads taken in on that day. And the tractor is going through there, flattening that out, which transformed that side dramatically. But that's really detracting from the drone shots. But, you know, just so you get an idea of things change in time, but they change very, very quickly. And... There's the dog, the one that adopted us. But I uh, need to move on from there. And yeah, lots of dead wood to burn, dead lemon trees. We got rid of those eventually. There's all the flowers, truckloads were put in there. Talony went through, ploughed it, put in seedlings. And this is probably after about three, four weeks, those flowers came up. So that had about a foot and a half of fill on that. And here we go again. Up in the air, great perspective. And the stability of the drone is absolutely amazing. There's no stutter or waver in the shots at all. It does have a 4K camera on board, and the quality of the video is amazing. And the perspective is, I don't know, it's a bit mind-blowing. But there I am down there on the ground. Um, it comes with a controller, which is not purely a controller. It actually has a real-time video screen on it. And the drone transmits wirelessly back to the controller so I can actually see what the camera is seeing while 
filming, which is brilliant. The camera on the drone is 4K, or capable 4K and below, and it's an f1.7, so it's very, very sensitive and picks up really crisp, clear images. I do have a set of ND filters because I didn't know how strong I was going to need to stop down the actual f-stop. Um, so I carried those, but this footage now is without any filter on and it's come out extremely good. In fact, the quality of the, the vision is every bit as good as the DJI Pocket 2, which is a, a gimbal camera that I use for a lot of the other shots that, uh, that I do bring to you. That's also 4K, um, but they're very, very comparable on their quality. It's brilliant. But uh, getting shots like this and giving you a real feel for the environment that I'm experiencing, um, most of the time, this kind of filming, of vlogging, uh, tends to be sort of more cameo. You'll get a picture of me with whatever the background is that I'm against. And that's really the scope of what you can see. But when you incorporate some footage that you can capture on a drone, you know, for once you guys can get a real feel for the environment and what I'm actually experiencing. So if I sound like I'm sort of tripping out on how enjoyable it is, you're probably not getting what I'm getting being there. But look at these shots here. Off into the distance you saw all the farmland. We're going up in the air a bit higher. And that gives you more of an eagle eye view of the, the landscape. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, this footage was taken uh, mid rice season. So everything's very green. We are in the wet season, but it's also quite hot. You get to see the road there, which at that point had been recovered and rolled with earth because they were getting ready to put another top surface on it when the drier season came. You can see beside the farm there, to the left of the farm, that full length of road from the turn down the distant corner all the way up to the corner we just saw. It's dead straight. And if you've watched the video prior to this, where we had somebody run into the front wall of the house, you will be in disbelief too of how did they manage to do that. Luckily all that's been fixed, the wall has been rebuilt, but um, that gives you an idea of what we were talking about and why we were so incredulous that it could have happened. So coming down from the eagle view, uh, you can see me there on top of picture, just gone out. The drone comes down very smoothly and you get more of a, obviously more of a panoramic view with it. Uh, it can be helpful too for me when I'm trying to picture things in my mind of the farm um, as to where I want to do things next and how they're going to pan out. So that's helpful. This area since this video has all been cleaned up dramatically. Um, the area to the right, as you saw, filled with earth. That's had a couple of crops of flowers on it now. Uh, the lily patch there with the solar power. Um, solar power running at pump. The rubber trees, um, a few there we I think we're losing because lack of water at times. Others are very healthy, but we'll deal with that. Now you can see the two dams, the big dam on the right hand side of the house and the smaller one to the left. There's that bottom corner again. We're on about 13 rye in Thai terms of land size, which is just around the 2.2 hectares. Old farmhouse just gone out of view. Again, the solar panel. You can see there's a banana tree there too. Some lemon trees which we have saved on this side. 
and get the camera to go up again. There we go. Pan around, watering the lily pond. Dog loves to swim in there. <laughs> it's only ankle deep, but it goes in there and gets black as Billy O. Now, ground level, still from the drone shot. You can see the, the, the yellow buds of the uh, lilies there. They call them Doc Boer. So that area is quite happy. Admittedly in the dry season, um, a lot of evaporation and we do need to keep that water flowing there, which means it's not as much uh, available for the flower patch. We have to do that by hand. Uh, angled back towards the farmhouse. You can see by my movements I'm still <laughs> working out how to go with the drone. So I tend to go forward, then stop, the turn, and down again. Wasn't able to do any practicing with it where I was living in Australia because directly in the flight path for the airport and restriction on flying drones in that area. So this was my first um, real flight, maiden flight call it. Learning how to go forwards and backwards, up and down and turn. Um, there, there's some real basic concepts with the drone that uh, take a little while to work out. While you are standing behind the drone and it's moving away from you, the toggles or joysticks, you push forward, it goes forward, pull back and it reverses back to you. But it suddenly is a, a, a ball, ball game changes when you turn the drone around to face you and you want it to come towards you, the controls work in reverse and hand-eye cord hand eye and brain coordination sometimes can fail. So it takes a little while to get used to that inversion of the controls also. So um, drones are a great deal of fun, but they take a bit of handling. So that's a bit of a an insight into the farm from above gives you a good feel for Thailand and its beauty. So um, heading the drone back to land it near the house. But um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. A lot of beautiful green sort of countryside to see there. But uh, I'll get back to you with some more videos shortly. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again here on down under Thailand and please subscribe if, if this kind of uh, material interests you I guess is the, the words to use and please uh, enjoy the videos in future thanks guys give me a like also I'd love to have that thanks a lot